Hi, Rob here. Today I want to talk about a PEX B crimp and cutting tool. I got this off of Amazon. It's the Oru, O U R U, cinch and removal tool. I got one for my daughter. She has a house in Michigan. Got one last year and I really liked it. And when I got home to California, I did some research on PEX and I decided I wanted to go with PEX A. Whereas this tool is for PEX B. Uh, the difference being on PEX A, there it's a different connection. You use an expander to expand this um, this collar and expand the pipe, and then you slide it over, and then it, then it contracts. Whereas with this other one, this PEX B tool, you slide the pipe on the fitting, and then you have this uh, crimp ring. And you just crimp it. So I want to show you how to crimp it and how to cut it. And the reason I decided to switch from PEX A to the PEX B is one tool will cut or crimp it and cut it. And you don't have to struggle with trying to get these expansion rings off. That's a real pain. I've seen people heat them and use utility knives, but if you if you heat them or use a utility knife, there's a chance you're gonna damage the pipe and then you have to get different pipe. Just it's just a pain. Whereas the PEX B just seems to be much easier for the do-it-yourselfer. Another reason I like PEX B is it takes one tool. This tool works for uh three eighths, half inch, three quarter, and I think one inch pipe. Whereas with the PEX A, I had to buy a, a tool and then have different heads. I actually bought a kit. But the whole kit and all the different heads for the different size pipe was uh, over $100, where this, I think it was just at 40 off of Amazon. Came with a cutter and came with a bunch of crimp rings. You can use it to uh, crimp the rings around the PEX pipe is a half inch ring and you can also use it to cut and for the life of me I could not figure out how to set it because on the tool it has clamp you know for pinching and then cut let me see the cut and then it says cut and I didn't know how to have this little thing adjusted you know do I have it point at cut point at clamp and what about these holes there's a hole here, a hole up there, and then there's a slotted hole on the side. So I read on the box, and it says, when changing function by rotating the screws, need to be screwed into the holes to keep the functions in place. Well, what screwed me up, it says by rotating the screws, there's only one screw here, you know, one threaded, and finally, I found on the front of the box, it's got this cinch and remove. And when you're cinching, you have the red dot pointed towards clamp and removing the red dot pointed towards cut. And then the screw actually goes in the hole. So like for clamping, I'll point the red dot at clamp and then I'll put the screw into this hole here. and vice versa for cut. So I'm up in the clamp direction and the screw is into that hole. So it took me a long time to actually figure it out because I didn't want to, you know, screw up my clamps. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and make a connection. I have a fitting. It's a 90 degree fitting in my vise. And I am have the clamp ring crimp ring slipped over the pipe and then I'm slipping the pipe on the fitting. To clamp it, you just have it set in the clamp position and slip the tool over the ring. About an eighth of an inch from into the pipe. You just squeeze it all the way and then it releases itself. So we have the clamp connection. To cut the crimp off, I've got the red dot over in the cut position and I have the set screw down in the hole. And I just position over the uh, ring I want to cut perpendicular to the uh, ring, to the pipe, and you just cut it off. 
like so. And then you can remove the ring. And you can remove your fitting and reuse your fitting. To view more of my videos, click here. To be notified when I release a new video, click here to subscribe to my channel.